Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over the Sunrise Alarm Clock mod. It is really, really, really fun. Um, if you haven't seen already, sorry, I, I do not know what that was. Let's try to open up Curse Forge for a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Sims 4 mods and we are going to look for the Sunrise Alarm Clock mod. So what you wanna do is click exit on anything that is distracting. You can look it up in here or you can just scroll until you see it. So let's go ahead and get to that now. All right, here is the sunrise alarm clock. So when you get here, you are gonna go ahead and scroll to the description. You always wanna read through the description because you do not wanna miss out on anything that the creator might have told you or you know something that you may need to install with this mod. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to files. Once you click on files, you will see the main file and you will see recent files. The main file is basically a zip and the recent files are just to inform you the uh, prior updates that have already popped up for this mod. I also wanted to let you guys know that if you have converted fully over to the EA app, do not freak out. You can literally still install mods. You still can have mods. Um, you just go to a different app to get to them. So I want to show you something real quick and then we will get right back to this. So you're going to go into the EA app and go to home. You will see at the top left corner, there will be three lines. Click on those three lines and select settings. When you go into settings, select application. And then over here, you will see where it says application updates. Go ahead and turn that off. Okay. It should already be blue if you haven't already done that. The reason we turn that off is so that way when your Sims 4 is updating and your, or, your, your EA app is updating, it's not going to automatically update and mess up your mods. And then all you do when there's updates is you just take out the mods folder, click update the actual EA app. And then when that's all done, you go ahead and put your mods folder back inside. Boom, bada beam, bada bam. Okay? So, just wanted to show you guys that real quick so you're not freaking out like, oh, I got the EA app now, but I don't know what I'm doing. All right? When you get to Sunrise Alarm Clock, you want to click Files. This is where you will be to download the mod. You do not need any additional files. You just need one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click Download File. It is going to download after five seconds. If you have a slow computer, it may be longer than five seconds. Do not freak out. Once you are done, at the bottom, you will see a download link and there will be a right click arrow. You are going to select that and click show in folder. It will automatically show you the downloads in this folder. But if you do not have that option or there's no easy way to get to that, you can always go to the bottom of the screen and click file explorer and then go to your downloads folder and then you will see it again. OK, um, if you have Finder, you will just click Finder and do exactly what I just did. Get to your downloads folder. Once you do that, there will be a zip file. If you do not have a zip, do not freak out. As long as you can open the folder and there's pages in there, you are good. You will be able to install that mod just fine. If you see a zip file, you are going to right click and you are going to click Extract All for my Windows users. If you have a Mac, double click and put that folder into the open section. So basically you will double click it and click on the blue folder and it will open and you will see what's inside. For Windows users, click extract and then you will see two pages, a script file and a package. That is all that should be in this folder. Once you do that, you select that folder and then you are gonna get ready to put that in your mods. To do that, you go to the bottom of the screen, you right click and select File Explorer yet again. If you have Mac, you're gonna click Finder and then you are going to go over to the documents folder. Once you do that, select electronic arts, then select the Sims 4 folder. If you do not see the local thumb cache, chances are you're trying to install a mod with your Sims open. Do not do that. Exit your Sims first, then finish installing the mod. Number two, if you do, do not see the local thumb cache, that doesn't mean go delete the online thumb, online thumb cache, okay? That doesn't mean delete this, no. Just leave it alone. If you cannot find it, do not freak out. It is not that big of a deal. Just go into your mods folder, okay? Once you go into your mods folder, you will see all the other beautiful mods that you have installed. If you are new and you don't have any other mods installed, the only thing you're gonna see is resource CFG. 
Once you do that, I want you to go ahead and select the sunrise folder and drag it into your mods folder. And right then and there, you have installed the mod. You can always double click to go inside and look at it and see what the contents are. As long as you see these two pages, you installed it correctly. And then you just go into your game as you would any other mod. You go back into the EA app and you go to Sims 4 and you select play and bada beam, bada bam. I promise your mods will still be there. It's just a different app we're using. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I always leave timestamps in all of my videos, especially the long ones, because people do not like when I talk a lot. And shoot, I don't like it either, but I have to try my best to give as much information possible to help the people who may be having a more trouble understanding or going through more technical issues than others, okay? So always look in the description for timestamps with my videos and always look at the bottom of the video because I always let you know what the timestamp is specifically for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. I'm sending you so much love and hugs. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, really seriously consider doing that. I know you hear this on every other YouTube uh, creator's videos, but I love to create tutorials on how to install mods. And who knows, there may be a chance or a time where a particular mod comes up that you want to install but you have no idea how to. So if you're already subbed, you will be able to see that particular mod and be able to get a how-to video on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate so much. If you have any other mod suggestions, you can always tell me in the comments. I will definitely take that seriously. If you feel like you gave me a mod suggestion and you still don't see the mod being uploaded yet and it's been a while, don't be afraid to ask again. It's okay. I probably missed your comment or I haven't had the ability to respond to it yet or I haven't had the ability to be able to get that particular mod for you just yet. But I always listen and I always try my best to get these mods out for you guys so you you know how to install and you're good to go. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it so much and you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.